Hi, I'm Chris Gasper, and this is Globe 10.0, joined today by Gregory Lee. While the Bruins are having a hard time getting the puck past Washington Capitals goalie, Braden Holtby, the playoff newbie has allowed just two goals in the first two games. He stopped 72 of 74 shots. He's doing a pretty fair Ken Dryden impression, and a lot of Bruins fans are having some flashbacks that they would rather not be having right now. Greg, what do the Bruins have to do to get to Holtby and get the puck past him and, and score a little bit more here. Well, we didn't need to get back to Bruins style of hockey. What we saw in the first two games, especially in game two, what we saw was the, the Bruins got into a game where they kept playing back and forth hockey, kept going up and back, up and down the ice. They need to stay in, off, in an offensive zone, control the puck, and continue to put pressure on this kid. Uh, because he's, he, he's seen this. He saw 74 shots, but it's not the type of shots that have him on constant barrage. And then the Bruins are not being patient enough uh, to get those, those goals. And also noticing in the first two lines, especially in game two, seeing Brad Marshawn, you can see him missing just off, a little off on timing in terms of trying to get shots into the net, trying to get off rebounds. They're not, they're not going to the net to try, try to get you know shot. They're taking long yeah, shots. Yeah, Julian says they need some dirty. But they goals. need some They got to get bit. people in front of the net to try to tip some, um, to redirect some shots into the net. But they're not doing it. No one's going there and being aggressive in front of the net. I tell you, I think they really could use Tyler Sagan here. I think they really could. Uh, it's a more physical style of hockey in the playoffs. I think he's done a pretty good job defensively. Maybe he's concerned with his defensive responsibility being on that Bergeron line, right. which has been matched up with the Ovechkin line. Uh, but it just seems like he's demurred a little bit. You right. know, 29 goals in the regular season. He's their leading goal scorer. This is surprising to me that the Bruins are having this harder time. Uh, they scored 260 goals in the regular season. The only two teams that scored more were Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. And you see how much they're, they're scoring. scoring. right now, yes. Exactly. Washington has been very defensive here. My concern, series tied 1-1. You know, game, obviously, game three Monday night in Washington. Concern is that now Holpe's picked up some confidence. Yes. And whether he's really this good or not, he's going to play like he's this good. And that, you that's let him gain confidence. And Sagan has looked just, it looked like he hasn't been in, in, involved in, uh, in hockey matches the last first two games. In game two, I saw him, like, actually do make a play, but it was, like, once in every blue moon. So Sagan needs to get more involved. Uh, the first two lines need to be more aggressive because the, like, the third line, uh, with Chris Kelly's line, has been very aggressive and really yeah. taking up the slack. They had both goals. And they had both, both the goals. And, and that line has been real well. We're doing real well, but the first two lines have to play off what the first, the, the third line has done for them. So the Bruins getting a lot of shots on Braden Holtby, but they probably need a little bit more traffic and some more quality scoring chances. As David Krejci said after game two, two goals in two games isn't going to cut it.